All these tips and products that I'm about to give you are going to ensure that your skin is on the right track to recovery. Hey guys, my name is Deja and in today's video, I will be giving you all the tips, tricks, and tea on how to get rid of your hyperpigmentation, acne, and discoloration without spending hundreds of dollars on products that don't even work. Also, I'm not wearing any makeup. The only makeup that I'm wearing is my brows. They're filled in and then I have lip gloss on my lips. Everywhere else. I know this video is already going to be long, so grab you a snack, a pencil, pen, and a notepad, and let's get into it. This video consists of a lot of vital information, so please bear with me and stick through the entire thing. You won't wanna miss anything, I promise you. So hyperpigmentation has always been one of my biggest insecurities growing up, especially in high school. Um, 2016, which was my freshman year of high school, I played volleyball and I did competitive cheerleading at the same time, which would result in me sweating constantly. I would be working out throughout the day and then after school, I'd be going to cheerleading and sweating all night. Because of my acne and hyperpigmentation, I would always be wearing makeup and I didn't carry makeup wipes on me. Um, I would just go from practice to practice in a full face and makeup, which is not good. At the same time, I was also in a very toxic relationship which if you don't know stress can also be detrimental to your skin and so it just it was a nasty situation I started getting acne and I started constantly popping my pimples and you know messing with my face which resulted in me having even more hyperpigmentation which brought down my confidence from here to here so summer of 2019 was when I started my skincare recovery journey I literally thank God for this every single day I did tons of research um, on YouTube and outside of YouTube, and I actually got recommendations from friends as well, which literally saved my life. Now, all of these tips and products that I'm about to give you are going to ensure that your skin is on the right track to recovery. Please do not pop your pimples. I know this is so hard to say, and even I have trouble with this sometimes. I don't know if you can tell, but I recently was messing with my face and I have a dark spot right there but please do everything that you can to not pop your pimples. Cause I promise this will lead to acne scars and hyperpigmentation. You don't wanna do that. Number two, avoid touching your face. Your hands are nasty, sis. They're nasty. All you are doing is transferring germs from your hands into your face, and that is disgusting. Stop using these harsh, chemically made products. I can attest to this because I've never been to a dermatologist. In my entire life, I've never been to a dermatologist. I figured all this out on my own, which shows that natural products can get the job done. I promise you, they can get the job done. Now, mind you, some of the products that I use, some have, you know, some form of chemicals in it. Some form of chemicals are good for your face, but not all forms of chemicals. Let me say that again. Some forms of chemicals are great for your face, but not all chemicals are good for your face. Okay, all right. Try to find out why your skin is breaking out. Is it hygiene? Is it stress? Is it your diet? All of these things contribute to our skin looking the way that we want it to. And by doing this, you have to do your research and find out your skin type. Skincare isn't, and baby, listen to me. We're gonna get real close here. Skincare isn't a one size fits all kind of thing. It's not, it's not, and it's just like that. Everyone's skin is different. Therefore, what works for me may not work for you, but all of this comes with research. Dermablade your face. This literally changed my life forever, and I didn't start doing this until a couple months ago when quarantine started. Dermablading is used to physically exfoliate dead skin and just unwanted stuff on your face, hair, anything like that, dermablading is perfect for that. Not only will it improve your skin texture, but your skin will look 10 times better once you dermablade. Wash your face twice a day, nothing more, nothing less. You don't wanna wash your face too often to where you dry out your skin, but at the same time, you don't wanna wash your face not enough to where your skin is just dirty and nasty. You don't want that. Do you sweat? Go wash your face. This should be self-explanatory, like honestly. Go wash your face. Please try to refrain from sleeping in makeup. I played two very demanding sports, so I would be tired 24 seven, I'm not gonna lie. I would come home and crash right on the bed. And I was an AP student as well, so you know how just on the go I was. I would come home and crash in a full face of makeup. Don't be like me. Check your makeup expiration dates. Cosmetics trap bacteria and replacing them regularly ensures that you don't have all that irritation to your face. It can even cause eye infection. So just replace your makeup regularly. Clean your brushes too. 
the same thing bacteria gets trapped in these brushes if you clean them regularly you don't have to worry about irritation or breakouts or anything like that so please just try to clean your brushes regularly clean them sheets baby the pillowcases too try to do this multiple times throughout the week this will ensure that you know all of that bacteria and sweat and dead skin that is on your pillow is not going into your face and reversing what we're trying to do here which is improve your skin wear sunscreen and yes i'm even talking to my melanated queens you need to wear sunscreen too and i did not know this until this year yes this year so sunscreen is okay again going to prevent you from going back to square one with hyperpigmentation on your skin if you notice in the summer if your hyperpigmentation is worse this is why Be mindful of your hormonal changes stress diet literally all of this goes into your skin why your skin is acting out so just be mindful and do your research once again now that we got those tips out of the way let's go into some products that have helped my skin my holy grail products the body shop tea tree face wash i think it's like face cleanser or something like that gets you this the smallest size goes for six dollars and I will link everything down below, by the way, so you can find literally everything. 100% organic African black soap. Now, this is like iffy because this works for some people and then for others it doesn't. Now, for me, I can say that it cleared my skin, but my skin is definitely on the drier side now. The Glow Bar. So, my friend actually put me on to this lady who sells a bunch of skincare products that are phenomenal for your skin. Um, just be mindful to follow the instructions don't do it too frequently don't do it not enough because if you do it too frequently you're going to give yourself a chemical burn I did that so do not repeat what I do and it's actually on sale for eight dollars so get you one right now I will tag her um, Instagram down below so that you can find it easily turmeric mask so I used organic turmeric honey um, lemon and flour so turmeric naturally brightens the skin um, lemon does the same thing. They kind of work hand in hand. Honey is a great moisturizer for your skin. And flour, I actually learned that flour can take away oiliness on your skin. So now my skin is not even as oily as it was three, four years ago. Indian Healing Clay. Now I mix this with apple cider vinegar, which both are amazing and phenomenal for getting rid of acne quick if you want to do that. Um, and the Indian Healing Clay usually runs for $10. Like you can get it at Walmart. Um, and apple cider vinegar, you can get it from your local grocery store. 100% raw shea butter. You can get this for like $5 on eBay and that's exactly what I did. Just make sure that you read. Make sure that you read. Emphasis on make sure that you read because you don't want to get played out your money, sis. But this ultimately made my skin really moisturized 24-7, period. Coconut oil is another great moisturizer that you can use for your face. A steamer, and this literally saved my life. A steamer is going to ensure that it opens your pores and lets out all of that loose dirt and just all the, the stuff that we don't want. Yeah, it... And this usually runs for about $18 on Amazon, just depending on which one that you actually get. Product that I would say helped me the most on my skin clearing journey was birth control emphasis on birth control sis i specifically use birth control pills and um they usually run for about 30 maybe 15 and then they're free on insurance so you can get this you know you can talk to your your doctor about um which birth control would be right for you but mind you there are specific kinds that are going to ensure that your skin is popping so i got on birth control um april 24th 2019 um, and I was specifically on Sprintec, but it is one of the five, I want to say. It's maybe four or five. Now, mind you, not everything is going to work the same for everyone. So, personally, Sprintec did nothing for my skin. Um, and so, I ended up switching to Nikki, which is a, another form of Yaz. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's another form of Yaz, which is another birth control, um, which they say is the number one birth control that you can be on birth control pills rather that will clear up your skin little tip birth control pills actually help your period become shorter as well be sure before purchasing any type of birth control that you check with your doctor so that you don't get any of the reactions because we don't want that so just be sure to check with your doctor to see what works for you and what doesn't i know this was a lot to process but i really do hope that you learned something within this video if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to me and comment down below something new that you learned um one of your favorite products or you know what you're doing to improve your skin thank you so much for watching and until next time peace